Now 644 and Portland loves its pets, which is why Cor Harlan is live this morning talking to a local woman who makes great pet food. Good morning, Cor. Morning, Ken. We're making uh, some dog treats here at the Portland Pet Food Company this morning in uh, southeast Portland. And this is a, a small Portland-based company that has a big footprint right now across the country. Check out some of the ingredients here. These, uh, this, this is a, a brand of dog food that prides itself on very simple ingredients. And what we have in there is peanut butter, some spent grain that was used in the beer making process, eggs, and a little flour. And that is about it amongst a couple of other ingredients. So it's just a, a handful of ingredients there. There are things that humans can eat, things that dogs love. And this is Katie McCarran. Uh, and you started this company back in 2014 to care for an ailing dog of your own. And did you ever imagine you'd have a, a, a business that was thriving like this one is? No, it really wasn't planned. I really started the company for Rosie, who was ailing at the time and not eating well. And I just thought that if we started feeding her whole ingredients, that she would start to recover, and she did. She loved to be 16 and a half eating Portland pet food. They are, uh, they are mainly products that are in uh, natural food stores. Uh, and uh, Katie tells me that they've started selling in Sur La Table now, Nordstrom's as well as a lot of natural food grocery stores across the country, really, with sales that are just skyrocketing. That's the treats that they're making there this morning here. They're processing them back here. And when I say they use simple ingredients, Carl, come here and check this out. These are the simple ingredients that they're using in here. That is peanut butter, pure and simple with no, none of the stuff that dogs no don't like. Right? All no xylitol. No xylitol. Processed peanut butter. All right, that's Bob's Red Mill. Uh, what kind of flour is dark, that? Dark rye flour. It's an organic flour that we use for Bob's Red Mill. Dark rye flour. So when I say that these are ingredients that humans can eat, that dogs love to eat, go for it. I'm going to go for it. I'm not joking around here, eating dog food. All right, that's what the treats look like there. Now. It tastes fine. It tastes like it tastes like it could maybe use a little more peanut butter for my taste, right? But they're good dog treats for humans, anyway. Carl, come on back here. We'll finish out the segment from the Portland Pet Food Company. But this is how they they roll them all out by hand. Into the into the bag they go a little bit later on after being cooked here. Thank you for having us out here this morning. Uh, Katie from the Portland Pet Food Company that is making a big splash in the uh, in the world of uh, natural and good and healthy pet foods out here this morning and good luck to you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Cool. Ken, that's about it from here this morning. I probably shouldn't have eaten this in the middle of the segment though with the peanut butter <laughs> and the, uh, the smell. <laughs> Yeah, it makes it kind of hard to uh, figure out when you're done, whether you're just taking a chew or whether you're actually mm -hmm. done. But I think you're done. We're done, mm -hmm. right? Okay. I'm done. We're done. <laughs> Sounds We're done. good. Mm -hmm. All right. Good job. <laughs>